Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to quickly talk to you about Google Drive, a place where you can keep all of your files. This goes for documents, images, slides, but this particular YouTube channel is focused on research, where to find research, how to find materials, do presentations, citations, whatever you might need for projects, assignments, portfolios, whatever you might need for high school, middle school, college, anything that you can use. And so I'm showing you Google Drive as a place to be able to keep things for school, but of course you can use it for whatever you wish. Google Drive is a safe place where you can keep all of your materials, files, whatever it is that you might like. And it doesn't specifically have to just be Google. You can keep your Word files, you can keep images, documents, whatever it is that you might like. They can all go here. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a link that says pricing. You get started with 15 gigs for free. From there, you can upgrade to two bucks a month for 100 gig. You can get a terabyte for $10 a month, so on and so forth. I pretty much show tools that are free, so I wanted to at least show you options that are out there. I've been using Google Drive for years. I have many friends of mine who teach in schools that have one-to-one -one devices, Chromebooks. They too have been using Google Drive for years. No one's had to upgrade to a pricing structure. But I want to let you know that if you have lots of data, lots of information, lots of documents, you have the option to upgrade. Where Google Drive comes in really handy is if you are using it in line with Google Documents, Google Sheets, Slides, and Forms. If you're not familiar with these, I'm going to give you a really quick and dirty rundown. Google Documents is going to be where you can create documents just like a Word doc. This is where you can write your papers. This is where you can do a whole feedback of all types of information of anything that you, if you are writing papers, reports, whatever you might need for school, classes, project. Sheets is going to be spreadsheets where you can create, collaborate, whatever it is that you need all in one location. Slides are just going to be like anything that you would need for PowerPoint, presentations, easy to use slides with a great database of images that you can also import into your slides. If you want more information about docs or slides, I have an entire video just on these items if you'd like to know more. And then forms, I use a lot. This is a fantastic location where you can create your own form. And what I mean by form is if you need to do a survey, a poll, an invitation to a party, whatever, this is a location where you can quickly gather information. If you're running a fraternity, sorority, if you're in a group, a club, a meeting, if you'd like to quickly get information about people's likes, dislikes, things that they want to do for the year, this is a great location to quickly send out a link, gather data. I have a lot of people who do this still on paper. You don't have to do that. You can send this out out in a link in an email and it is so easy to use. So to quickly go into Drive, I'm going to just quickly pick one of my documents. I have lots. And say for instance, I wanted to share this particular form. I'm going to open this up. And any of the forms that I've created, I can switch, I can change, I can add images, videos. This is a form that I have made. And then if I want to send it or share it, you have options over here on the right where you can make a copy, you can trash it, you can pre-fill it, and you can also add collaborators. And that's the beauty of working on something in Drive. Because when you can add collaborators or you can share, when you add your collaborators, you now have the option to be able to make it private. You can change it to public. Anyone with this link can use it. And then you also have the options of making it only viewable, editable, or they can only, they can collaborate with you. You can change it to all different types of things. And then you can link it out to share. You can link it in an email, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. And so you have lots of different options. And so this is a way that you can automatically share and collaborate within the actual drive as opposed to writing a Word document and I'm not knocking Word, I use Word all the time, but if you create a Word document then you have to send it via email and then someone edits it and then they send it back and so on and so forth down the rabbit hole. You can just do it all here. You even get a history of who edited it last. And so you got a lot of really nice options of things that you can use and that's really great. So I just wanted to quickly tell you about Google Drive. There's a lot in here, way more than my short videos. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. Thanks so much. Have a great day.